channel or welcome if you're new here i'm sandra i'm 19 i have a six almost 16 month old toddler named london she just ran back to the bedroom and i am pregnant with baby number two and today i am going to be doing a little bump date slash pregnancy update because i am 14 weeks today which means i am officially in the second trimester yay the first trimester is so annoying and the second trimester is when it starts to mellow out and it's a little chill until you get to the third trimester when you're big and miserable <laughs> so i'm so glad to be in the second trimester because it's just a huge weight lifted off your shoulders and it's just the easiest trimester at least it is for me um and i know it is for a lot of other people too because you know first trimester You've got morning sickness, you've got cramping and bloating and ugh. And then second trimester, you get some stuff here and there. With London, I would get headaches, but that didn't last that long. And then you get in the third trimester and you're huge and you've got back problems and hip problems and leg problems and you can't walk or move or put your shoes on, <laughs> which I'm only 13 weeks and I mean, I'm only 14 weeks, and my back is already, oh my god, so sore. Like, literally, whenever I roll out of bed every morning, when I first get up, I'm like, ugh, I don't want to move. And I, like, grandma walk through the house for a while. Yeah, so my back is pretty bad, but it's always been pretty bad. Um, let's see. Something super exciting is I have officially felt my first little flutters, like flutter kicks, which baby is so small still that, you know, it's not very strong and it's really hard to catch them sometimes. Like I don't feel them all the time, but I've felt them like once or twice. And sometimes it's hard to like decide if it's gas or if it's baby. But I pretty much know how to tell the difference now. With London, I'm pretty sure I felt her flutters the first time around 13 or 14 weeks. But then I was like in my mom groups, or it wasn't really, I wasn't in mom groups, but I was in like this anonymous pregnancy chat on one of my apps, or like I was looking on Google and everyone's like, no, it's just gas, it's not possible, baby's too small, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of just brushed it off like I guess it was gas and then I got to like 15, 16 weeks and I was like, okay, that was for sure baby. Um, but now that I already know with London, I am I know that it is just me feeling them really early and I've actually seen that a lot of other people do feel them really early, especially with like second plus because you know what you're looking for if that makes sense i'm also like a small framed person like i'm not like oh my god so tiny but like i'm pretty small so it's easy for me to feel stuff sooner because my stomach isn't like too much in the way and stuff like that and like it all depends on where baby is sitting in your uterus and like where the placenta is what way they're facing because sometimes they'll face like your back and you won't really feel the kicks because it's going that way so yeah um let's talk Yay. some actual stats now sorry i'm really like congested in my nose london you can't drink soup She's been carrying around these soup cans. We have, these are spaghettis, spaghettis, spaghetti O's and meatballs, or Christopher has a bunch of like Campbell's like chunky soups, 
And he has them in a bag so that he can take them to Lima with him to have to eat so they're not in the cabinet. So Lenny keeps getting them and walking around tilting them like she's drinking them even though they're closed soup cans. Anyways, I'm coming on to Ovia first. I am exactly 14 weeks, second trimester. See, finally I got, it finally says second trimester up there instead of first. Here's some cool stuff. This is how big baby's hand actually is. That's how big baby's foot actually is. Um, this app says that pumpkin is the nickname for the baby for, for right now. And sorry, focus, hello. Um, yeah, pumpkin is like the nickname that I gave because of like the season of whenever I found out it was fall so I've been calling the little baby pumpkin but once we find out the gender and stuff it'll change but Ovia says pumpkin is now the size of a house mouse interesting right <laughs> and let's go look at another app pregnancy plus all my apps say something different pregnancy plus says the size of a pear about just under four inches from head to butt. They don't count head to toe because like it's kind of hard. So they count, they call it crown to rump, but, but it's head to butt. That's how they measure in ultrasounds and stuff. And the weight is about two and a half ounces almost. So definitely growing. And now let's go to what to expect. Uh, what to expect is like, kind of my favorite one just because it has so much more stuff well maybe i should i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back to pregnancy plus real quick so i can show you something else i used only ovia with london but this time i have three and ovia is like kind of cute and charactery and it gives you a lot of information and i like how you can like enter in all symptoms and like it has so many different features that are so cool to use and like you can enter all your doctor's appointments you can put notes like oh i felt kicks today oh here's some names um i got an ultrasound today the heartbeat was this and you can log your weight you can log your appetite your ex like you can log what you eat what you exercise what medicines you take like you can put everything into ovia Pregnancy Plus what to expect. Pregnancy Plus and what to expect doesn't have as much and it's like extra, like you have to like subscribe and pay to get more features. But something I do like about Pregnancy Plus is it has this real life thing. This is what the baby would look like right now. It looks like a real baby now because just a couple weeks ago this is nine weeks. It doesn't really look much like a baby, but now that it's 14 weeks, it looks like a baby. It just needs to get bigger. It's got all its arms and legs and fingers and toes and ears and nose and everything. It even has like a little heartbeat sound. I think it's so cool. And you can click actual size, which obviously it's kind of hard to show on a phone screen. It just kind of like enlarges it, but it kind of shows how big the baby actually is in a way. Now to go to what to expect. What to expect says that the baby size comparison is either hubba bubba tape thing, container, um, an orange, or a baseball. I have 26 weeks left, give or take. Would you stop? I don't know how you even get those. Anyways, now let's talk about more about how I've been feeling lately. Um, if you have been watching, then you know that I had a lot of issues with morning sickness and not being able to eat. It was more all day sickness, literally all day, every day. Um, it's gotten better. I don't really get like super nauseous like oh my god i can't eat anymore there's a lot of the time like it's either i think of something like food and i'm like oh my god i want that that's the only thing that i want i need to eat that 
and lately it's been cheesed up. So we've had to go out to eat Mexican because I really want a cheese dip. We had to do it the other night and literally it took me so long to get Christopher up. We went to the restaurant like 40 minutes before they closed because I had to have my cheese dip. That was the only thing I could eat for dinner because that's what I wanted. So, so I either crave something to the point that that's all I can eat or literally nothing sounds good to me. Uh, like that's what my main problem has been like I want to snack all day so that's what I do I usually just have to randomly choose a meal and then eat it like I'll eat it fine it's just like it's not oh my god I love it it's just kind of like okay I'm eating because I need to eat because that's what people do they eat food and that's just what I do every night pretty much Except for the rare occasions where there's something that I'm craving. Like I was craving pork chops the one night and made pork chops. Or I was craving cheese dip in San Jose. So we went and ate cheese dip at San Jose. San Jose. But besides that, I just kind of make whatever I have to make. And it's like, okay, eat that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I haven't really been having a lot of food aversions per se. It's just nothing sounds good. It's not, oh my God, that sounds disgusting. It's just, eh, okay, I'll eat it. <laughs> One thing that I've been dealing with lately now that my morning sickness has kind of gone away, instead of morning sickness, I've had this, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like my gag reflex is so sensitive. Like if I smell anything that I don't want to smell, it makes me gag if I touch something that's like weird to me it makes me gag if I see someone touching something or eating something that is gross it makes me gag if I I can't hear other people throwing up like usually I'm really good about gross stuff like I can see like blood and guts and brains and puke and I'm fine but lately this hearing or seeing anything like that is like oh my god get it away from me now before I puke and having two dogs and having to clean up after them is so hard and when London poops now like it is so difficult because like I have to hold her legs up I have to wipe her butt and get her cleaned up which means I have no hand to cover my nose so the whole time I'm like holding my breath but then I have to breathe so then I'm like oh my god okay breathe hurry up hold your breath again before you smell it too much so it's really difficult changing her dirty diapers and cleaning up after the dogs and like washing dirty dishes sometimes or taking if I open the trash and it has something that's like overly smelly in there it drives me crazy the last time i did an update was uh 10 weeks so it's been a month since then and in the past month that's pretty much all it has been it's um my morning sickness getting a little bit better being able to eat a little bit more and just me trying not to puke all the time um i really i tell myself every time to stop saying um so much and i still end up doing it every time i just can't help it my skin is still pretty bad. I've got little bumps all over my cheeks still. I'm still waiting for the day when I get that OMG perfect glowy skin like I eventually did with London. It was the same way like it started out. London, what are you doing? I kind of dealt with the same thing with London where it was like my skin was horrible in the first trimester and then it eventually went away and my skin was amazing the rest of the time. So I'm waiting for that still. Okay, that is pretty much all that I have to update you guys on. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Well, I don't want you touching me when you're wet. Why are you walking like that? That is all that I have to update you guys on. So now I'm gonna show like a little bump clip type thing it's still morning time so I haven't like eaten much so my stomach's always a little bit smaller in the morning than it is at the end of the day but this is the only time I had time to film this video so yeah I'm just gonna show you guys the bump and be out of here I don't know why but for some reason I'm wearing black on black just a little something something it gets bigger throughout the day like I said Alright, 
Got my maternity leggings still. I have two pairs now. I've literally, I wore these at the end of my pregnancy with London when I finally bought some and have only worn, no, don't do that. I've only worn maternity leggings ever since, even when I wasn't pregnant. So, oh God. I haven't gotten any new stretch marks yet. I just still have my old ones from London that are faded right here. But here we go. Just a belly. You gonna give baby a kiss? Sometimes she likes to kiss the baby good morning, but... Oh, you trying to show them your belly? Let me see. You got a matching belly with me? Let me see. Let me see your belly. Oh, let me see your belly. Oh, look at that belly. You're so cute. She loves to copy me with the whole bump thing. Like, she sees me, like, rubbing mine and showing mine and stuff. So all the time, she's like... Ooh. <laughs> poking hers and stuff it's so cute uh okay that is it for this pregnancy update i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be back with another pregnancy update at excuse london's phone i will be back with another pregnancy update at 18 weeks and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and a comment below tell me anything you want to tell me and subscribe to the channel before you leave if you have not already. You can even turn the post notifications on so you never miss anything. I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I usually post at 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. But I've been thinking, going back and forth about changing it. I just don't know like a better time really. So if anyone has any suggestions on a time to post, let me know. And yeah, that is it for this video. And we will see you next time. Thank you.